Okay, let's discuss the time waiter rate of return. Let's use the same example as what we did for the money waiter rate of return. So assume that at the beginning of the period one, we bought a stock for fifty dollar, and then at the end it becomes sixty dollar. At that time, it pay one dollar dividend, and we also buy another stock. And after another years, you sell both of the stocks for sixty five dollar. And in that year, there is no dividend. So unlike in the money waiter rates of return,、uh, which we deal with cash flow and internal rates of return, in the time waiter rates of return, we try to find the growth rate of each period. So the first step is to write down what is the balance at the beginning of a period and what is the balance at the end of a period. For example, in this case, the balance at the beginning of the period. Is fifty dollar because this is what the customer gave you to buy the stock, and after one period, the balance becomes sixty plus one dollar. Why? Because the stock now appreciate to sixty dollar and it pay one dollar dividends. So from fifty dollar it grows to sixty one dollar. This is the ending of the period, which is equals to sixty one. Okay. Then how about for period two? For period two, since we bought another stock, so the balance will be the sum of the two stock, which is sixty times two equals to one hundred and twenty dollar. How about the dividends? The dividends already pay out to the customer, so it is not reinvested for the second period. Therefore, we do not count it. And at the end of Period two, what is the balance? The balance is sixty-five times two, which is equals to one hundred and thirty dollar. This is because both of the stock appreciated to sixty-five dollar each. So once we have written down the beginning and the ending balance of each period, then we can find the growth rate of each period. For the first period, the growth rate will be sixty-one divided by fifty. This is equal to one point two two times. Then, how about for the second period? For the second period, it is equal to one thirty divided by one twenty, which is equal to one point zero eight three three. Okay. So you can see that in the first period we have twenty-two percent gain, and in the second period the growth rate is eight point three three percent. So what is the time waiter rate of return? All we have to do is just to take the geometric mean of these two number. So it will become square root of one point two two times one point zero eight three three. And this is equal to one point one five. So the time waiter rate of return is fifteen percent. Please pay attention to the fact that when we calculate the growth rate, we are calculating how each dollar grows over one period. So for sixty one dollar at the end of the first period, it grows directly from the fifty dollar at the beginning of the period. While、well, for the second period, the one hundred and thirty dollar it grows directly from the initial one hundred and twenty dollar of the period.